hello guys welcome to the start of my birthday vlog i cannot believe me and grace turning 21 this year but i am tomorrow today i'm in chelsea actually which is like probably my favorite part of london and i'm off to my hair appointment i'm actually getting um hair extensions i'm getting tapes and I'm really excited. I'm going to show you guys the transformation. Basically, my hair has gotten so thin. Um, I think it's a mixture of using too much heat and also diet. And then also, I did speak to my hairdresser about it. She was like, people's hair does change as you get older. But I feel like I have no hair left. So I'm having extensions put in and I'm really excited. We're going for like more of like a blonde blondy sort of bronze shade. So it's going to like lighten up my hair a bit. I'm really excited. I'll show you guys the transformation. But this is the before. It's actually got really long, but because it's so thin, like you don't really notice it. Um, but it's supposed to rain and I don't have an umbrella. So that's literally the most grace foley thing ever. We're halfway through. I've got the length in. I'm just having some shaking for that now. But I am obsessed. The colour is literally the perfect match. So cute. This is the after. I am obsessed. It's so nice to actually have like thick hair. It's so nice. Okay, so I'm home, still obsessed with the hair, um, but I'm trying my outfits for tonight. Basically, I have what I'm definitely wearing tomorrow um, to the restaurant with my friends. I know what I'm wearing, so that's sorted. But tonight and Sunday are not sorted. So this is one of my options. I don't know if it suits the vibe tonight more or if it suits Sunday more. We will see. I'm yet to decide. I need to try on the other dress because they're both very different options. I just need to kind of like know what suits what. Obviously, you guys are going to be watching this like ages after. So you won't be able to help me. But I just, I don't know. I love this outfit though. Like it's definitely being worn. Okay, so this is option two. I don't love this. I think, I just, I don't know. I feel like it's maybe more summery. So I've gone with this, I'm gonna get some cute photos in it and then I'm gonna get changed quickly into the cream set because this is slightly too big for me and I just don't feel that confident in it because it's quite like bouffante. I don't know, it's just a bit long. I just don't feel that confident in it. But for photos, I think it'll be really cute because it's like, like this bit is like a little bow. So that's the plan. Oh, Nanny Pat. <laughs> Nanny Pat, she's in all of my birthday vlogs. And she's dancing. You've got good rhythm. I definitely didn't get your dancing, Jane. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm opening one of my presents early because Nanny's picked this for me. I've just opened my present from my nanny. Look how beautiful this bracelet is. It's got my star sign. It's got my star sign on it. Came to the restaurant. It's called Alex's and it's like famous for fish. Mum looks lovely. She's in a lovely cream dress. We're both kind of matching. I've got a cream, cream outfit on. And there's like a jazz singer. Like I just love the food here. Nanny looking pretty. We've all just ordered our food. And Dad's looking at the wine list. We've got Prosecco. And I've ordered fish, no, corn pill pill for starters, which is my favourite thing. I always eat that in Spain. And then I've ordered steak for my mate. Because I love steak. But we've all gone for steak, apart from Nanny, actually. Yeah. Our starters are here. Harry's got bread, because he's obsessed with bread. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> Mum's got prawn cocktails. I, me and Dad have got pill pill. And Nanny's got cocktail. We're going to tuck in. I have never seen steak so well presented look at that i'm obsessed with like i actually got it rare which i never normally do but i love rare these days guys look at the you know i order this wherever i go hello we're popping in with a really fun little segment we know you guys love hauls so we've got one for you plt you love our plt hauls yes and we're bringing it back so this is because PLT have their Pink Friday deals on right now. So exciting. The discounts on Pink Friday are constantly changing. So head over to the website for Pink Sales. Everything we try on will be linked in the description as usual. But we just want to give you a little haul. Especially now we're going, well, we've actually got a New York trip planned. So these are like kind of outfits. With for the winter. winter like, we've got like winter party vibes. Yes. 
Well, so, I've gone more like basic. I've gone party. Gone party. Yeah, we've both gone for a pleather moment. A pleather moment. Grace just living for this uh, body suit. <laughs> it gives me fake cleavage. I have no cleavage and I'm currently slimming. So if I manage to get myself on a date in New York, this is going to be worn. This jacket is not my usual, like it's not what I would usually go for, but I saw Molly May in it on the website and I just thought she looked amazing. With like a cream jumper, maybe some like leather, like black leather trousers. These are our cool garments. Yeah, we, we're so, you don't want to mess with us. No. Next looks are on. Very different vibes. Where are we going? Like, well, I'm going together. to ice skate. Grace is going to party. This is giving New York party. So girl. cute. I love the skirt. I love the different like, size of the sequins but this would actually look so cute with jeans it's very well. carrie radshaw and it's backless very new yorkan oh, i love this might be coming to new york i got this cardigan it's like a lovely chunky knit it's very you know sometimes knits can be itchy this one is not itchy at all it's nice and chunky it's really nice and chunky and then these earmuffs which are just so cute i love the colors i think i'm gonna bring these to new york and do like an ice skate look in these yeah and they've got a cute it's so buckle. cute i love them Sliving. Again, we've gone very opposite. Same skirt, new top unlocked. I really want to show you this, but it doesn't go with the outfit. It's giving Sharpe. It's so cute. If you guys have never seen these, they're like the metallic scarves that everyone wears. I might steal this for Grace's birthday. <sighs> She's always stealing my look. But how fun. Yeah, my, my birthday theme is gold, so. Really cute. And I have though. a billion silver things, but nothing gold. <laughs> She's not a gold girl, but I'm a gold girl. I've got this blazer. I thought it would look really cute with like maybe a belt around it. I love that kind of look. But it's also really warm and really fluffy. But I think when you layer this with like leather trousers, it could look really nice. I've also got this black fur coat. Can't go wrong with the fur because I need it for my birthday. And the fur is so good quality. Like it feels like silk almost. It does. It's crazy. Super fluffy. Like it looks silky. It like kind of glams up any look. It's very easy, I think, for a faux fur coat to look ratty. Yeah, like that does cheap. not look ratty. This is not look ratty. It's very silky. So, it's lovely. Us in our coat. Next vibes. I'm obviously very much into pleather. Of course. This is also a full pleather look. These are like brownie gold. Kind of a cool colour. This reminds us of Pamela Anderson in Barb Wire. Yes. It's giving that. Very much so. I've gone for another jacket. This is a grey one. You can't stop her. No, I just think with some like nice trousers, a nice handbag, it's so chic. I've kind of gone for more like staples because I feel like that's what I normally wear in the winter. Yeah. And it's quite warm as well. It's like kind of fluffy. Oh yeah, it's kind of like warm material. It's really nice. It's very, very chic. Y'all already know, these are over Instagram. Like every Instagram girl has these boots and PLT have a really good version a of them. A dupe. And they're so cute and they feel really, really good quality as well. I love the brown. So the leather looks real. I'm really excited to style these. Okay, these are the last looks. Where are you wearing this? Well, I saw this on Molly May and again I was sold. <laughs> I just went to the Molly, Molly May, May girl. Section. You sold Grace to her website. I love the beige colour. I feel like it's very Matilda Jerk. Very like 90s, I feel like Rachel Green would wear this. Victoria Beckham. Victoria Beckham. I am a sucker for beige. I love beige. So I think with some like knee high boots, this could be really cool. Yeah, and I think it actually look cooler like unzipped with a little crop top. Yeah, on. maybe a crop top. You can wear it two different ways. 100%. This is giving sporty spice, but it's also giving errands in New York. So cool. Bella Hadid wears Both. these pants all the time. I've always wanted a pair. Both like, trousers are so cool. I've always wanted a pair of pants like this because I saw Bella Hadid and Paparazzi wear pants like this. They are so cool. Just with a black vest. And then these glasses, I think, are so sick. I'm really loving glasses that look like reading glasses. The Parisians love a pair of glasses. Yeah, I think they're cool with the wearing sunglasses at the moment. I'm preferring reading glasses. So these have got... Well, they're kind of orange tinge now I look at it, but they're kind of clear. So they're really cool. They're really cool. And I'd love this. I would definitely wear this in New York. If you guys enjoyed this haul, make sure you check out the PLT's Pink Friday deal. And everything's going to be linked down below. And let's continue with the vlog. Continue with the birthday celebration. Off we go. It's my birthday. I need to bring this all back to Paris because I really miss MS. So nice. And <laughs> the dog. Look, look at the dog. My mum has put a bow tie on him. I'm really excited. <laughs> oh my god, stop it, he's going nuts. And I've, I've just called Amelia, called Grace. 
and yeah, I'm gonna open my presents. And I've got the cutest text from everyone. Everyone sent me the cutest text. We're now headed for some brunch at nice. in this village that is really cute. It's very all to me. I've got these. Oh, I bought these shoes back from Paris. And then I've got my little bag on and this top, which I haven't worn since I was in New York. But I just thought I'm going to go extra because it's my birthday. And I don't know what I'm in the mood for. Maybe like egg on toast or could be cheeky and get a sausage sandwich. I'm obsessed with sausage sandwiches. I'm the cafe, I've got my cappuccino. And whoever's playing the music is playing all Taylor Swift. They have taste. Like it's been ever, like really niche ones, it's all too well. Someone must have known Taylor Swift. It's weird, all the songs have been Taylor Swift. Yeah. I've got my cappuccino, which I've eaten all the chocolate off of. And I'm just waiting. I did actually order a sausage sandwich. I've got my sausage sandwich. They don't do this sort of thing in Paris, so I'm eating this up. Dad's got some English. I've got a bacon sandwich. Guys, we got to the Airbnb. We've had drinks. Guys, we're all having drinks at this pub in Marlebone. It's been so nice. I feel like we've been there for ages. We've all had like loads of cocktails and Moim's on her seat. Moim's so drunk. Moim's on it. And yeah, we're gonna head to Bagatelle. Yeah! We've made it to Bagatelle! It's so fun in here. I love the atmosphere. It's very festive. It's so festive. And the food looks really nice, so we're all very excited. Guys, 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 Bagatelle, what a night. I have had the best birthday and it's not even finished yet. If you're in London, you have to go Bagatelle. They play all of the cheesy hits. It's honestly so much fun. Like if you're here with like a group of friends or you want like a fun birthday dinner or like special occasion dinner, go to Bagatelle, it's so fun. I nearly lit someone's table on fire. They gave me the sparkler and I accidentally flung it and it just landed on this other person's table. So yeah, that was that was a moment. And then we went to a club called The Scotch, which was really good. We actually ended up in the DJ booth. I've been listening to Alex L's podcast too much. My mum has put on this amazing spread. Look at it. Look at my cake. It's so beautiful. Grace is 21. Um, yeah, I'm gonna vlog. I'm gonna see all my cousins. I'm so excited. But yeah, I'll vlog. Oh, we've got MS sandwiches. I love m &S. Oh my god. <gasps> Yum. Oh my god. Look. I'm so excited. Hello guys. So I'm about to go back to Paris. Literally my train is in an hour. I thought I would do a what I got for my birthday at the end of this vlog. I wanted to make sure I did a what I got for my birthday because I feel like this vlog needs it. I used to always do one of these on my second channel. The first thing I got was a perfume and I am obsessed with Pen Halligans. Oh my God. So basically the story of this is, is I bought my mum a set for a birthday where you get, it's a really good present to buy people by the way, if you don't know what to get someone. It's basically this little mini set of Pen Halligan fragrances. So you get like a taster of each one. I bought her that and I obviously smelt them all. And the Elizabethan Rose, the minute I smelt that, I was like, oh my God, that is my fragrance. But perfume isn't the sort of thing you really buy yourself, unless you're like in desperate need of it. And I have, I had other perfumes I could use, but I really wanted this and I wanted to wait for it. So it was like really special for my 21st. So my nan and granddad got me this and oh my God, the bottle is just so cute. Like, look how beautiful the bottle is. It comes with a little tutu. I'm actually really sad, though, because I'm not going to bring this to Paris, just because 
I don't want to like get this bottle stained or scratched or anything or even smash it like I'm gonna keep it safe in England when I'm home you guys need to go and smell this like I'm not normally that into rose fragrances but it is it's delicious the next thing I got was from my friends I nearly cried when I opened this they bought me this Dior bracelet to match my Dior necklace it's all it's got little pearls on it and it says Dior and it's vintage and it is so beautiful going around it it says Dior it's beautiful they honestly know me too well like they could not have picked a better present because I really wanted like a lovely silver bracelet to wear and it just matches all my jewellery like matches the Dior necklace so I'm so happy with that I nearly cried my mum got me these pyjamas from M&S I always 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 get a pair of pyjamas for my birthday because it's always winter on my birthday I always want a cosy pair of pyjamas to wear and this was just so cute it looks exactly like my dog they're so cute and then they've got all like dogs on the bottom of them cannot wait to wear these over christmas my nan also got me the elizabethan rose and oh, no, i made my mum got me this actually she got me the elizabethan rose body lotion which is going to be insane so i'm properly going to smell like this fragrance it's going to be like my scent i then got a truffle flavored marmite my mum knows how obsessed I am with truffle. I have truffle ketchup, truffle mustard, truffle powder. And now I have truffle marmite. Cannot wait to eat this on some toast. I got this gorgeous pair of gloves. Again, I feel like gloves aren't really something you buy yourself. And my mum just was like, I know she needs a pair of gloves. So she got me these. I might actually bring them back to Paris with me because it's getting really cold. They're so nice. I've got this really gorgeous gold buckle. And I'm obsessed. It's the sort of thing that you just need for life, you know? I got these socks to match the pyjamas. Little M&S bear. I then got a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick from my auntie. She also got me a bracelet. A stunning bracelet that says God Daughter. Because she's my godparent as well. It's a Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk. But it's like a darker nude colour. I cannot wait to wear this. It's so 90s. And I've really been into like a dark nude recently. Just to kind of make your face stand out a bit more. If that makes sense. I other auntie who's not my auntie but she basically is michelle she got me well her and her family got me this beautiful gucci necklace i actually cannot get over this look how stunning it is and it's like proper silver it is beautiful i almost feel like i could layer it with this i also got this whispering angel set and you open it up i've got a bottle of whispering angel and then two glasses that have the logo on it. I cannot wait to drink this. I'm gonna have all my friends over, I think, in Christmas. I also got loads of food, which is all downstairs. Like, Grace got me Swedish chocolate, but I haven't opened her main present yet. I'm gonna open that on the Eurostar, I think, because there wasn't any time to open it yesterday. I think that's everything. I think that's all my presents. I'm obviously so grateful for all of them, and I've had the best weekend of my life, honestly. It's been so intense, but it has been probably the best weekend of my life like I just spent it with all my favorite people all my family yeah it was so good and I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog stay tuned for Grace's one but yeah bye guys love you